Nosy Parker Sussex again trigger U.S. residents' impatience as again wade into politics in new letter. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have written an open letter urging G20 leaders to ensure vaccine supplies for all nations. Within their letter, Prince Harry, 37, and Meghan Markle, 40, claim that promises of vaccine donations from these countries are not reaching the globe's most vulnerable. The Sussexes joined forces with WHO Director General, Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus to issue the correspondence on the eve of the G20 summit. Within the piece, they refer to access to the COVID-19 vaccine as being a fundamental human right. It comes ahead of the G20 summit this weekend which sees leaders from the world's richest nations meeting in Rome. It is anticipated that environmental issues will be prominent on the agenda for G20, but the recovery from the pandemic is also likely to feature in discussions between world leaders. In their letter, the trio said, when the leaders of the world's wealthiest nations met at the G7 summit in June, they collectively announced that 1 billion doses of COVID-19 vaccines would be sent to low- and low- and middle-income countries to help vaccinate the world. Pharmaceutical companies have pledged almost the same. Yet, as several nations still don't even have enough vaccines for their own health workers, the world is left asking, where are the doses? The statement continued, COVAX, the initiative designed to help achieve fair global access to COVID vaccines, has been promised 1.3 billion doses to be donated for the low-income countries it supports, yet it has been able to ship only 150 million, 11.5%, to date. Where are the rest? The letter called out a handful of countries at the G20 summit who have millions of surplus vaccines that are destined to be wasted once they expire. The royals added that discarded vaccines should outrage us all. They wrote, each dose represents a real person, a mother, father, daughter, or son, who could have been protected. Each of us come from very different places, backgrounds, and life experiences, but we share a common goal, to tackle global inequity. Markle, Prince Harry, and the WHO Director General referenced the global target to vaccinate 40% of all countries by the end of 2021 and 70% by the middle of next year. The statement listed four steps that must be followed in order to accomplish this goal, including, fully, funding, the access to COVID-19 tools, ACT, accelerator so it can carry out its vital work of providing vaccines, diagnostics, and treatments to the most vulnerable people on the planet, from older populations and health workers to refugees. They concluded the letter with, cooperation of historic proportion is the only solution. Lives literally depend on it. The couple, who have recently spoken out about other humanitarian crises in Afghanistan and Haiti, previously teamed up with VaxLiv and Global Citizen in September to support vaccine equity and stop the spread of vaccine misinformation. It comes after Meghan issued a letter to U.S. Congress leaders to advocate for paid leave for all parents. She drew on her status as a mother of two within the campaign piece and issued a call to ensure that millions of American families can access guaranteed paid leave. The letter was written on Sussex-headed paper and was signed off with Meghan's Duchess title. However, it emerged on Thursday that U.S. President Joe Biden has not included paid family leave in his $1.75 trillion, £1 1.27 trillion pounds, spending plan. The letter the couple have penned alongside Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, which is published on the WHO website, is not the first instance that sees them campaigning for vaccine equity. Last month, Harry and Meghan appeared on stage in New York for the Global Citizen Live event where the couple called on pharmaceutical companies to waive their intellectual property rights on COVID vaccines as the pandemic was becoming a human rights crisis. Prior to this, the Sussexes wrote an open letter in May, calling on the chief executives of pharmaceutical companies like Pfizer, Moderna and AstraZeneca and urging them to redouble their support for the UN-sponsored COVAX program. The COVAX scheme intends to establish fair access to COVID-19 vaccines for both poor and rich nations.